Heidi Ho from Arches National Park. We are super excited to be here. I have been here before with a father-son trip with our youngest son several years ago. Yep. We attempted a little while ago on our winging it trip, yep. but they were completely booked. It was in summer. So this is yep. Alana's first time here. While it's a little cold, I think there's still plenty to do. Yes. We're not sure exactly what our strategy is just yet for tackling the park. We're here for two full days. Today, we camp mm -hmm. tonight, tomorrow, yep. we camp here again. Yep. Same campground, different campsite, just the way it worked out. And then anything we really wanted to get to and we didn't, we still yep. have that last morning yep. to burn. I think for now, we're just gonna start hitting overlooks and small hikes to the right until something suits our fanny. <laughs> Join us, here we go. The campground is at the very end of the main road. We decided to head there to check out our campsite, but we were in no rush, so we took opportunities to check things out as they presented themselves. Our first lake stretch was the three-tenths of a mile loop at Balanced Rock. Next up, the windows section. There are two walking loops here. The first for us included the turret arch as well as the north and south windows. Then we crossed the parking lot to check out double arch where Jay took some photos. In total, we strolled under two miles to see it all. The viewing points of Delicate Arch were our next stop, where we crossed paths with several deer that didn't seem to mind us at all. After setting sights on the arch, we knew it was time to get a little closer, so we jumped back in Wilma and headed to the trailhead. The Delicate Arch Trail is advertised as a three mile out and back with nearly 500 feet of elevation gain. The shorter distance of this hike makes it a popular one, but we couldn't help but notice many were unprepared for the rapid ascent and work required to make it to the arch. Luckily, there is lots of room at the top to take in the views and catch your breath before reversing the trek back to the trailhead, where Wolf Ranch and some petroglyphs show some history of the area. After Delicate Arch, we stopped at the Fiery Furnace viewpoint before making another quick walk to check out Sand Dune Arch.
We finally made it to the campground to check out our site for the night. All we really wanted to do was get a game plan for our setup in daylight, knowing we were planning to head back out for sunset. Jay struggled with a sunset composition on his previous visit here, and this trip was no different. After making several stops, he ultimately landed on a distant view of the window section and the LaSalle Mountains. Luckily, the cloud cover we had for most of the day cleared enough to make it a burner. Well, good morning. Happy sunrise. Happy breakfast time. Uh, you may have noticed, though, that the campsite we're in is not the one I showed you earlier in the video that we thought we'd be in. As it turns out, we had a little bit of a scheduling mistake, and we accidentally booked ourselves both in Dead Horse Point State Park and here the night before last. So we, the spot we thought would be our first night spot, we were off a day. We didn't discover it until after sunset. We came back down this way. There was another van there. Like, no, look, we're here. And then we realized that we were the ones that had made a mistake. So our first night here is actually in the campsite that was intended to be our second night, if you're following along with all that chaos. Anyway, as luck would have it, the camp host walked by this morning. We told him what had happened, and because of some uh, cancellations, there was a site that we were able to grab, which is literally right across the way. So we've already done that. We've uh, filled out our paperwork. We've paid for it. We are good to go here. We are back on track for what we believe is going to be an epic day of hiking. The entire Devil's Garden Trail offers a nine-ish mile loop that takes you past or under too many arches to count. There are a lot of elevation changes and several scrambles, or crawling in one spot for us. The views are spectacular no matter where you look, so I'm not going to talk over the rest of this montage Jay put together.
After Devil's Garden, we set up camp again, swapped on some warmer clothes, and headed back out for another two and a half mile hike to the tapestry and broken arches that had a trail connector steps from our site. Jay was ready for a sunset photo if one presented itself, but nothing ever caught his eye beyond video. Yesterday was an absolutely amazing yes. day of hiking and getting a little further back uh, off the roads mm -hmm. here at Arches. And I'm very thankful that we got to do that. That being said, we made a full day of it. <laughs> and uh, by the time we got back to the truck, it was dark. So we were ready to make us some dinner and then crash and go to bed, which we did. Yes. It's now morning and you can tell it's, uh, it's a little gloomy. We have got some weather coming back into the area. Uh, rain and mostly rain here, but snow is on our tail as we make our way through the mountains in Colorado. Yes. So it is time for us to hit the road and unfortunately head towards home back to the uh, the real life. Yes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series of videos. The next video that will be out for us will be getting back to that top and finishing yes. the truck build because it's been a little cantankerous <laughs> uh, with it half done for most of this trip. Been very been great yes. but still definitely some improvements yet yes. to be made. Thanks. Uh, we hope to see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.